Hi, I'm Phil Myers. I invented the wedge clamp that you have just seen. I came up with this design to provide a more stable connection to single flanges on steel structural members. Let's take a look at how a small screw or bolt pulls a wedge through the clamp body. The use of a wedge creates a very strong attachment that resists twisting and possible failure. A wedge clamp provides effective alternatives to most C-clamps, pipe clamps, hangers, and U-bolt clamps. Like these other clamps, the wedge clamp is commonly used to attach pipes, conduits, and strut channels to seal structures. Our wedge allows the load to be spread over a large area. The wedge pivots to allow a broad, evenly applied contact to the surface. Flanges can be straight or tapered. This is possible due to two features on the wedge clamp that act together. The sloping edge makes contact along one line within the clamp body where, where the wedge is allowed to pivot around. An offset pull tab acts like a lever when a screw pulls on the tab, the tip of the wedge pivots towards the flange. Let's take a better look. Okay, here we have you know, the wedge and you can see the sloping area and it makes contact space on the inside of the clamp body and that allows it to pivot to maintain constant contact with a flange that's being attached to it. The wedge clamp design provides a loading that passes straight through the flange of the structure that is being clamped. Here we have a clamp body that has a, a bolt pressed in and you can put a nut on it and uh, you can use a, a hand tool to to tighten the knot. When we look at C-clamps, we see the tip of the bolt is tightened against a flange and carries the whole load. We see that as a C-clamp is tightened, the loads are, are applied the uh, opening in the clamp spreads. When we evaluate the U-bolt clamps, we see loading to the side of a flange, actually pushing down on a pipe or strut. See, here's a U-bolt clamp. One side is on the flange. The other side, as you tighten the nuts or push them down, adding to the actual loading on the strut channel. The wedge clamp provides a loading that passes straight through the flange structure that is being clamped. While wedge clamps are really good for attaching strut channels, they are also very, very good or attaching pipes and conduits. Wedge clamping can be used in other applications such as strut channel beam inserts and strut channel standoffs. A strut channel insert is created by sawing a strut channel to the inside distance between flanges of an I-beam. Uh, the strut channel is provided in about 20 inch lengths that has a cutouts on each end to either create two or make a one if it's a longer 
distance. This will to create strut channel standoffs for attaching to either tapered or straight flanges by using the wedge either above or below to maintain a right angle uh, position to the flange. A wedge clamp can also be used to attach electrical or light boxes to structures. This shows how a metal box that has rectangular shaped cutouts can be uh, attached using a special wedge clamp uh, that, that sticks down into the slot. Here we have wedge clamps that attach angles to either a straight flange below or a tapered flange up above. Uh, this is this is a good design for uh, if you want to create your own angles with special hole patterns or form channel, uh, and it works great for uh, food grade installations where you need to be able to clean the structures easy. Wedges can also be used to secure lids on metal storage boxes. Here's a metal container where wedges are used around the perimeter of a lid to secure it. Different sizes of wedge clamps are used to attach common uh, sizes of strut channels. Standard sizes of pipes and conduits being attached using the wedge clamps. You might notice there's only two different sizes of wedges actually being used through, through all these sizes of clamps. There are endless opportunities for using wedge clamps for hanging equipment and hardware from beams and flanges. Uh, they can be turned upside down depending on application using clevises or threaded rods or strapping to attach either on a slope or, or flat. Just endless possibilities. The wedge can be tapped uh, into the, the body of a clamp and it, it's pretty solid because you still need to put a fastener to keep it from coming off. I think it's obvious that there are many possibilities for using this method of clamping and attaching hardware. If you are interested in being part of bringing wedge clamps to market, contact me to discuss a mutually beneficial way to participate. You can call me or send an email if you are interested in joining with us to manufacture and market new clamp products. Thank you. We are continuing to look for companies to help us manufacture and uh, distribute you know, and sell our new clamp products. So uh, contact us.